This is John Rowland. WNEW-TV Channel 5, Metromedia New York, brings the news back to Times Square. Watch for the latest headlines on this sign and get the complete story on Channel 5's nightly 10 o'clock news. You'll be able to catch the sports scores, check the tri-state weather forecast, and be up on the latest Wall Street reports. Channel 5's 10 o'clock news in your home and on Times Square every day. Well, when you think about Times Square, you may think of New Year's Eve or the Great White Way. Unfortunately, though, you may also think of smut and pornography. But there is a big effort going on now to brighten up the image of Times Square, to return it to a semblance of its former self. And today, Channel 5's parent company boosted that effort. With a symbolic pushing of the lever this right. morning, Metromedia brought the news back to Times Square after more than a three-and-a-half-year absence. Not just the news, but sports, transit conditions, weather, the stock market, all direct from the Channel 5 newsroom. Four 60-second and four 15-second news breaks will be scheduled each hour. That's eight spots an hour. We felt it important and appropriate and interesting and exciting that along with the revitalization and the dynamic rebirth of this great Times Square area to return news and lights uh, to Broadway, and the sign right behind me, I think, is a vivid example of that. So it's sort of uh, emotional, sentimental, but it's also practical, like New York. Metromedia previewed its news service last Tuesday with the first headlines announcing the release of the hostages. Their free was flashed periodically for about 11 hours in Times Square. The Spectacolor sign replaces another, which wound its way like a ribbon around what used to be called the Allied Chemical Building, flashing messages to some 1.5 million people who pass through the Times Square area daily. Starting today, Metromedia will be bringing us more than 800 news presentations a day. New Yorkers welcome it as a shot in the arm for the Times Square area, part of the effort to revitalize that section of Manhattan. Aida Alvarez, Channel 5 News. As we told you last night, Metro Media is now bringing those flashing news bulletins back to Times Square. More than 800 a day, in fact, right now. And the people who work around Times Square are hoping that the sign is signaling happier times for that area. News updates flashed on the Spectacolor screen in Times Square. They're making a comeback after an absence of three and a half years. For those merchants who have spent decades in this part of town, the return of the news sign is a welcome event. It was something people came to see. Look, we came to work, we wanted to see what happened, we'd stop and look. I mean, it was something, a ritual. The old sign still wraps itself around the former Allied Chemical Building, now number one Times Square. The New York Times occupied this building from 1905 until 1913. Then, in 1928, after they had moved to 43rd Street, they started providing news updates, beginning at 5 in the evening until midnight. All the news that's fit to print, that's how they promoted their service. Today, in Times Square, there were some old-timers enjoying the Metro Media presentations and reflecting on the transition. Well, I'm aware that they started again showing the new sign, and I haven't seen it until just now. Mm -hmm. But I remember very well the old signs. <laughs> Since 1939, I used to, when I came to this country, I used to look up at it. It was always fascinating. I would stop and really find out what was happening. We have been watching that sign for years and years. I remember it from all my teens on. Do you remember any of the famous headlines from that uh, old sign? Well, one of the ones that was most important to me was the end of the Second World War because it brought him back. I knew it was over. VJ Day, victory in Japan, back in August of 1945. Thousands of New Yorkers crowded into Times Square around the sign flashing the good news. It had been turned off in 1942 for the war dim out, but with the victory, the news was back in business. In November 1960, the breaking story when this picture was taken was Kennedy carries Georgia. As many as 80 items were flashed on an election night.
But by 1961, the New York Times was bidding adieu to their electric news service. After that, the sign became an on-again, off-again proposition until Metromedia arrived on the scene. The news is back in Times Square again. It's another episode in the history of this bustling area. Aida Alvarez, Channel 5 News.